Right, hi there YouTube. It's been a while but we're back with another video and good to see you again all. Right, we have got an Asus F552C as you can see on that maybe. Notebook PC uh, running at the moment 4 gig of RAM and it's also got 500 gigabyte uh, hard disk drive. Now, this laptop, without a doubt, quite possibly, is going to be one of the easiest that has ever been featured on my channel uh, for an upgrade. So what we're going to do, we're going to install an extra 4 gig of RAM in this guy, giving us 8 gig of RAM, and we're going to install a solid state drive instead of the mechanical one that's in here. So let's pop this thing over there. Let's have a look and see just how easy this is going to be. Uh, it might well be difficult, but from what I gather of it, I don't think so. I think it's quite possibly uh, the easiest upgrade that I'm ever going to encounter from a notebook PC. So without further ado, let's get the intro going. And then let's get over on the bench. Be strong. Okay, so we're on the workbench. We have our Asus F552C. So let's see just how easy it is to upgrade. So what we're going to first start by doing is turning the machine over and as always we're going to remove the battery. Uh, we'll do that first. So that's simply done by sliding that catch over to the right hand side so you see uh, a red line there that tells us that it's unlocked. Then of course there's another uh, slide tab here as well so we just slide that to the left and push the battery out and that's basically um, all we need to do for removing the battery now we don't even need to worry about removing all of these back screws that are under the battery this job is super duper easy we have two retaining screws here which hold this front panel on so we're going to go ahead and remove those like so that's one and the other one is here so we'll go ahead and remove that guy now this plastic panel here pulls towards you and then you can just simply lift it up and straight away, boom, there it is, our slot for our RAM. So we can go ahead and install that. You'll be able to see without my fingers getting in the way. So we just locate that guy onto its pin slots like, like so. And then nice and easily push down until he clicks in. That's now taken this laptop from 4 gig of RAM to 8 gig of RAM. But we're not leaving it there. We're going to have a go at the hard drive now as well. And again, this is super duper easy. On this one, we have three retaining screws. I'm sure there be, should be a fourth one, but I don't quite know what's happened about that. But for the purposes of this, we have three retaining screws here. So one by one, we're going to go ahead and remove those. So let's do that. That's one. That's two. And that's the third one. Okay. Now, what you have here is a pull tab. So we lift that up and then just slide back on the drive and lift him out. It's as easy as that guys, it really is. 
This, without a doubt, is quite possibly one of the easiest upgrades I've, uh, I'm, I'm ever going to have on this channel. Um, it might even be the easiest ever, to be honest with you. Okay, so now what we have is our hard drive caddy. There's four screws that hold that hard drive in place. They're on the side here. So there's two this side and two this side. And guess what? We're going to remove them. It's literally that easy, guys. It's that easy. So that's one. That's two. I'll drop that in the drive bay. Spin the drive round. That's the third one. And the last one. Seriously, how easy is this? Right, now that we've done that, all we're going to do is where that pull tab is, that's where our drive, our new one, is just going to slide in. So get rid of the top one. And in goes our SSD. Okay. And now all we need to do is put those four drive screws back, the caddy screws. It seriously is this easy, guys. That easy. All right, I'll just refit them. Trying not to drop screws everywhere. Second one. Spin the drive over. Third screw back. Tightens up. Don't want to over tighten it, just tighten it enough. And just the last one. And that's that done. Now all we need to do is quite simply flip the drive back over so it's upside down. Drop him in. And then on that pull tab again, we're just going to pull it into place. Like so. Make sure that it's seated, which it is. And then put those three retaining screws back it seriously is this easy guys it really is so that's one let's get the second one in that's the second one and then just the third one. And that's in. And now all we have to do is just replace our top panel. So again, nice and easy. It just slides in. Like so. Make sure it's on there and then push it home. So it's all the way in and then we just fit our two retaining screws back on like so just push those in in there and in there where my fingers are and tighten them down that's one that's the other and now it's just simply replace the battery which it might be easier if I spin the machine round to show you how to do that. Of course, everyone should know how to do this. So you just locate the battery onto its rail. This is two rail marks there, so the battery just simply sits onto those. 
pushes in, and then that catch there moves over, and the battery is now in place. And now all we need to do is power the machine on and see what we get. So I'm going to delete an F2 straight away. It's not done that. So I want to go into the bars and make sure that it has picked it up. The whole 8 gig. And as you see, it's right there. Total information, well, memory information, total memory, 8192 megabytes. So it's all there. We're running an Intel Core i3, 3217U CPU. So we can just simply save and exit. Hit yes, and that upgrade is done. How quick and easy was that? So without a doubt, that is quite possibly the easiest upgrade that this channel has ever featured. And that's on the Asus F... Uh, what was it? It was the Asus F552C. So not bad. Not a bad little upgrade at all. Uh, the hard drive was pulled out of another machine, by the way. So that's why it's saying i5, even though that this thing is actually an i3. So the hard drive came out of an, uh, a failed and dead i5 machine. Anyway, let's proceed to close out. And that job is done. Okay, dear lovely viewer, that was the Asus F552C, uh, the upgrade for from hard drive to solid state and from 4 gig of RAM to 8 gig of RAM. And how easy was that? It was done in under 10 minutes. And uh, I was taking my time with that. Theoretically, I could have had that done in half the time. So it, quite possibly a five minute upgrade if I wanted to hurry that thing out. Um, but yeah, under 10 minutes, all upgraded and done. How easy was that? Anyway, that brings us to the end of today's video. And as always, I thank you for uh, joining the channel if you're new and for returning to the channel if you're not. And as always, um, stay good, my lovely viewer. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, get that bell on if you haven't already. And do jump in the comment section and I'll probably see you in uh, a bit later on myself. So for now and as always, for the future, I'm wishing you all of the very best and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye.